one of the most important parts about doing an engine swap is having an engine and there is my engine um, and there's a crane or a hoist and I'm going to hoist that into the back of my CRV over there ignore all the oil there, I don't get this because I emptied this of oil but anyway it doesn't matter, it's hundreds. so well that looks like a face anyway, yeah so we're going to get the hoist, lift it up, try and throw it into the CRV So due to the rust on here, we're just going to cut through this anyway. Uh, we're going to make it a, re a reboatable plate in. We're going to put like a round bar in, make it an unboatable part. And we're just going to chop through that as well for now. Um, I'll be putting pins in instead of the catch anyway. But I'll just cut it through there now, so I can still use that for the meantime. Although it'll be a bit weak, it won't matter. I'll still shut the bonnet for now. Yeah, so cut through there, leaving a little bit. And leave a little bit on there. Get rid of that completely and then we can actually drop the car down with the engine sort of in place and look at where we need to go from there. Not too bad. So as you've just seen, we've taken the engine out the jazz, this was yesterday, and we put the K20 underneath it and lifted it up into the bay. And then we realised because we've got to make the engine mounts from scratch because we're not buying them because Hasport never sent them and haven't made them. So we're going to make them. Well, Johnny's going to make them. Um, that To give ourselves extra clearance to move the engine in and out the bay a lot easier, we chopped through the front panel and cut the headlamp panel. We're going to replace the front panel with a bolting piece, probably just a bit of round bar. Um, and the headlamp panel we will weld little tabs in either side so we can bolt that back in i did that with my car so years ago made life a lot easier to work on things um but also with us being able to do it that way with having the subframe out uh, it showed us the section that, of the subframe that was going to catch on the bottom of the gearbox the diff uh, casing of the gearbox so we've chopped that out as well um 
I'm pretty much ready to just start making the mounts next time from scratch. Um, it, they don't look too bad to make to be fair. Um, the one on the driver's side, the Hasport one sort of comes off like the post mount on the cylinder head and it goes back the way and then along into the jazz mount. Um, we're just going to try and do it differently because there's an edit an extra bolt on the cylinder head so we're going to try and come from there and go up onto it it doesn't look like it'd be a problem uh, the actual FN2 mount that I took off the engine actually bolts to there anyway so that's okay uh, the gearbox front gearbox one doesn't look too bad might be able to modify the EP3 one to fit um, and the back one uh, well that's just like a dog bone mount so we'll make that one work as well and that's that um, but that should be the next time hopefully get on with the mounts within a week or so um, and what else did I have to do I've totally forgotten, but anyway, so that's where we're up to now, uh, and it's come along, um, actually got more done yesterday than I thought we would, which is great, so until next time, when hopefully we'll start making some engine mounts. Mm -hmm.